Stop. Warning. The content you're about to receive is for the sole purpose of exposing fake trainers, doctors, nutritionists, life coaches, and wellness gurus, in addition to educate them and provide you with accurate information. You know, I've been in this personal training business now for a long time, probably too long. It's been about 36 years. I've, I've uh, consulted lots of people, and it's been a very interesting journey uh, when you come across people and some of the excuses uh, that some of them have, and yet there are people out there that are just amazing. You know, they have a great mindset, and it's always very interesting for me to get into those people's, uh, you know, how they do it. One of the things that we're doing now, again, my job now and my mission is to expose fake trainers, is to expose basically anybody in the industry that's uh, spewing misinformation because there's a lot of it out there. So over the years, um, I've really noticed that there are some people that just are, you know, they're able to stay in shape and others just use any kind of excuse that they can not to stay in shape. So this segment here that I want to highlight now are you know, the working title, I guess, would be, you know, this are, we're going to be talking to people who have kids and who are uh, still making progress and they, they don't have excuses, you know. I'm talking to dads, and in this case, we're going to be talking to Eric, okay. Eric's somebody who has four kids, and he's someone now who's uh, older now with kids. Usually when people get to this point and they have kids, you, they start getting out of shape. And they use different reasons for that. Oh, my kids, I don't have time. And he, here's the thing that we want to get into. Uh, you're going to see that Eric is going to be, he's in good shape. And we're going to find out kind of some of the things that he does and maybe what how he leads his lifestyle so we can start taking all these excuses out of the, uh, the mix. So, Eric, I'm going to ask you now. Again, this is a, you know, we haven't prepared for this, no. which is uh, what I like to do. And so you're a dad with four kids. Okay. Four kids. So let me ask you, I, when did you get into um, exercise? Is it something you did right from the beginning? Did high you school. High school. Okay. And did you, were you an athlete? Yeah. Okay. So now uh, you're younger than, obviously, than I am. So back when you were an athlete, were you in, uh, did you play sports? Yeah. Okay. Football? No football. No football? No. Uh, water polo. Okay. So this, would be, this is kind of interesting. Did your coaches have you in the gym at all? No. They didn't. Okay. I and did yet, not. now, well, we know today is that every athlete really should be in the gym. You it's know? different today. It yeah. is different. When I started with uh, going to spring training camp uh, in the late 80s, uh, some of the baseball players were freaked out about, you know, doing a, an exercise program because they were afraid it was going to mess up their, their game, which it doesn't. There's a lot more right. information out there. Okay. So you started in high school. So what got you actually in? Did you start in the weight room? Yeah. I was just like, buddies of you know we, we just want to go and get big yeah so that's when we started going to actual weight room okay so gym. at that point now because looking at your body type i would say you were probably were you angular were you kind of thin in high school yep, yep. okay so would you say that you were more like on the skinny side because oh, i yeah. wasn't you know yes for so sure. yeah. okay more ectomorphic that's yes. that body body type yes. you had a hard time putting weight on you know, at that stage of the game. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So you got into the weight room. Mm -hmm. Now, did you get into the weight room in high school or did mm -hmm. you go like yep. to a gym? Oh, not, no, not at the high school, but okay. no, I used to go to Fun and Fitness. Okay. So Fun and Fitness. Yeah. Now, when you started doing your exercise program, how did you, I mean, did you have somebody help you or what? Tell me that process a little bit. When I first started? Yeah. Oh, it's a joke, but it was basically go in there and you just basically copy whatever you see people are doing. Yeah. There was no... Rhyme or reason why we're doing anything. And you know something? There's there's nothing really wrong with that, and yet there's a whole lot wrong with that. Yeah. You know? Oh, but, I know now. Yeah. So here's what you're telling me, okay? And this this is where I think this is important for the people that are watching this interview. This is how it starts getting interesting for me. Because, see, you had the, the motivation and you had the mindset to really start being, you know, proactive with something, okay? Mm -hmm. you, it didn't matter that you didn't know what you were doing. Now, keep in mind, you're, you're uh, 16, 17 yeah. years of age. I, I get that. But I can tell you from uh, someone who's um, trained a lot of people, a lot of kids right now, the kids that come into my facility now, horrible shape. Mm -hmm. Absolutely horrible. 
Yeah. It's a terrible thing. So just because you were that age, it really doesn't matter. The thing is, is you already had the mindset and the drive to get in to do something. Our, my coach used to tell me this. Uh, he, they used to say, look, because they get really frustrated when we screw up like a play or something. They go, I don't give a damn. They said, you do something, do anything, even if it's wrong. You know, we yeah. can fix that along the way. So fortunately, you didn't get hurt in the gym, but you started there and you mm -hmm. started copying people. So what, what, at that point then, have you, did you continue to stay in the weight room or was it a passing phase? What happened at that um, point? I would say it's more of, I wanted to learn more about fitness altogether. Okay. Um, and train, for me, it's, it got to a point where I wanted to train, like I don't like the word workout. Yeah. I hate that. I want to train, train towards a goal. Yeah. So it was either because I want to be fit, because I wanted to look a certain way, yeah. or used to do Spartan races, so I would train a different way for the Spartan race, or... Okay, so I in don't... high school then, you're training, and so you never stopped then, I, I'm assuming no. now. You, so you just kept on going. Kept on going. Did you, like, get into magazines, or how, oh, did, you yeah. get, how did you get some of your oh, information? Yeah, so I, yeah. I, at my first job, I used to have all the magazines, couldn't wait for the new bodybuilding magazine to come in, yeah. and... I would look at all the workouts and see exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Of course, that was before YouTube days. Right. So I'm just seeing why the reps were a certain way, the weight, um, yeah. and just study that. Yeah. Well, and that, the thing about that is, is when you're, you know, when you're enthusiastic about that. See, I tell my people, you know, because I sat, six and a half years ago, I had these strokes that screwed me up, and I tell the people that I talk to because there's a really bad, uh, poor uh, recovery rate in the industry. And so many of those people put their hands in the life of somebody else. You know, mm -hmm. they're not willing to take initiative. And, you know, what you're telling me basically is you, you, know, you, you have to be willing to go out there and, and find the solution and ask the questions even if you don't know them. And that doesn't make sense sometimes, but you, there's so many people out there. And this ties into what we're getting into because, uh, you know, some people are out of, terribly out of shape only because they're not taking any kind of initiative. Right. And to learn on their own, they're putting their 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 hands in Jenny Craig's of the world, and they're looking for that that fast fix. Exactly, you know, the S magic pill. Yes, yes. The, I call it SOS, shiny object syndrome. Yes, you know. So you know some of the success for the reason why you look like you do. Now, how old are you? How old are you? If you I'm forty. Like? I just turned forty. Forty, amazing. I would have never guessed that. And I'm not just blowing smoke up your butt. Uh, I mean that. You know, mm. you don't look like you're forty. Well, thank you. And I would say, it, you know, because I've had people tell me I don't look like I'm ninety, and I'm not. I mean, I'm sixty-three. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that, uh, you know, the reason why you look as good as you do right now is because of the fact that you've been in and done some form of exercise for a long time. Exercise and healthy eating. Right. Yes. And you've done that for a long time to the point where just it becomes a part of your lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know. And I think the, you know, again, the point of what we're trying to do right here is tell people that say, I can't do this or this. And we're, we're telling them, look, there's just certain things that you that you have to do. You don't have to be rocket science and know everything about um, how that works as much as you just have to be doing something, right. you know, um, you know, it, you know, three days a week or four days a week. So uh, the fact that you've uh, done that, you've created a situation now for you. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way, I'm just okay. kind of reading this into this. Uh, you've created something that is part of your lifestyle. Yeah, for okay? sure. And so I would say that that's one of the the keys, because now, you know, I can't tell you how many dads that are 41 years old with four kids, they're in horrible shape, mm -hmm. you know? And instead of looking for some, some uh, user-friendly and something that they can do sort of as a part of their day, because listen, here's a guy right here with four kids. I'm sure he's very active and your kids are very active, yes. okay? If anybody had an excuse as to why you couldn't look like you do right now, because you're built, you're built very well, it would be somebody like Eric, okay? And yet he looks like he does, okay? So the, the I say that one of your keys, and this is how and why people should follow this lead, is to create something that is lifestyle friendly. Yes. And it doesn't really matter. It does, you know, you don't have to get into it like 100% and do all these things perfectly. It's just... Do something that you could do along the way while you're taking your kids to football practice or whatever and doing your work, yep. okay, because it is possible, right? Is that, right. Is that so sure. have, so have you compartmentalized, uh, how, how do you make all this happen for you with all with your kids? How do you do that? I mean, over the years it's changed, but 
fitness was always my thing. I would do my little workout. Then I got to the point where I was coaching the kids. So I was out there being active yeah. with them. Um, even when we got home, I'm active with the kids inside the house. We used to play indoor soccer. Like, yeah. you know, there's a reason why my house has no working lamps. I understand <laughs> that. No, yeah. My house is so like that too. It's, it's just always something. But yeah. even, if, even if it wasn't for the kids, it's just the fact that it was me wanting to do whatever that was to feel good. Yeah. Um, so how do you, yeah. So what, then we're, we're getting close on wrapping this thing up because I think we've hit on some, on some good points, but okay. So you, you got this crazy life. I would imagine with four kids. I had it with crazy two. Life, yeah. yeah, it was, it was goofy. So how do you manage to get your, you know, your own work out of it? Because I've had people say, well, you know, and, and it's legit, you know, parents put their kids first. I'm good with that. You know, but my take is this, if you always are putting your kids and everybody else first and you let yourself go, you're not a happy person. I exactly. Think so how do you manage to, you know, how do you fit this all in? Well, I've heard, I've heard all the different excuses. And I'll, one thing's for sure, every single person has something in common. We all have 24 hours a day. Yeah. I don't care who you are. I don't, care, I don't care what you do for a living. We all have 24 hours. And then it's how you choose to spend every single hour, not just day, every single right. hour. Um, some people want to watch videos or play video games and, yeah. Or just come home and watch TV or whatever it is. Um, for me, it's wake up, um, work out. I like to do it in the morning, so I yeah. wake, feel fresh, take my kid to school, come back, work. Um, then I'm with the kids at night. Okay. So here's a, we're going to wrap this thing up by saying this, because I, I, I don't know exactly what you're doing. I think it's completely right, because I do the same thing. You have to manage your time better. Time, but it's also, so it's more, that's just half of it. Uh -huh. The other half is, um, what you eat. Okay. So yeah. that's half of it because I I know too many people that they work out all day long and then they're just still way out of shape and, and still unhappy. Right. And I agree with what you're saying. And from the other side of that coin, I can tell you this. And, and I totally agree. There's a lot of different ways to skin a cat and get to the point yes. where you're at. You know, not everybody, uh, you know, you say if you everybody trained like Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're not going to all look like him. Right, so there's right. mo more than one way to skin a cat. So I really appreciate that feedback. Yeah, because I can tell you this on my side of the coin, I can put you on a junk food diet and get you in great shape. Just, just, well, yes. you see what I'm saying? Yes. So, but what you're saying is legit. It's just right. my point that I'm making is there's a lot of ways uh, for the viewer. There's a lot of ways to keep looking like Eric does, no matter what age that you get. But the important thing is you, I think that you have to have motivation. I think you have to uh, make sure that you take, you know, time for yourself, even if it's three hours a week. You don't have to be a gym rat. Nope. Okay. If you do this three hours a week out there, for those of you who are sitting on the couch right now eating bonbons, if you'll do this three hours a week and just be be accountable to yourself, amazing things can happen. And just keep moving forward. Well, here's one thing to keep in mind. Some people can say, okay, I got kids. I don't have time to do it. Who says the kids can't join you? Exactly. Do you know how many times I go... Over there, and I love to run and do stuff in the dirt road. My son would go with me, and I would do walking lunges for about about a quarter mile. Yeah. And he's on his bike, and he's running around. There you have do, it, right yeah, there. Yeah, and I'm doing lunges, and he's seeing the fitness side of me. And yeah. and you're a good role model because they see that. Exactly. You know, and that's so I think that's. By the way, I love walking lunges, so I'm yeah. a, I'm a <laughs> yeah. lunging fool. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's really cool. And again, uh, you know, the as you get older, you know, again, I'm 63 now, and I've been in the business for I, I've been exercising since I was 25, you know. And I can tell you because I'm ahead of you in age. There's so many, many more benefits that you're going to get from just spending, just just taking care and and giving your body a chance a little bit. There's so many more benefits down the road. Oh yeah. You know, and uh, so uh, when you are doing something like this with Eric. You're a good role model for your kids. You're a good role model for your significant other. You're, you're a good role model for other dads. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on and, and doing this yeah. for me. Okay? Yeah. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right? <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. If you want more information about this, click on that link below and go to my website. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.